In this part of the class, I want to look at the torso sloper and just really talk about um, how you work with it. For the most part, um, you will elongate the, the skirt so that you have it to some dimension that you want in terms of skirt length. But also, too, you would want to affect how much volume um, you have through the abdomen. Here we have uh, the foundation for our sheath dress, right? Which is a dart and fisheye darts through the abdomen to get a nice silhouette through the midsection. But as we let the, um, the garment out to create more of a sack shape, each one of those places has a name and can be a dress. So uh, I'm gonna go through those four basic dresses and uh, show it to you in pattern so that you um, kind of get a sense of how we're gonna work as the course goes forward. So looking at the table, here is my uh, torso sloper with all the dart information it needs. And next to it is an elongated version for a cocktail dress that's a, a sheath dress. These darts um, around the abdomen, the core of the body, they represent fabric being taken away so that the garment's closer to the body, sexier. You can release some of these and leave them in the cylindrical shape that is the dress and get variations. So you have the sheath, which is the tightest and closest to the body. Here we've created a semi-fitted sheath by only taking out this dart. There's a second dart that sits here. We're gonna leave that in the, uh, the dress. Now, if your client needs this, it's an it's a excellent way to achieve a classic dress shape um, that accommodates the body. So think about that as well. That's why you may or may not want to be uh, using all of the intake. All right, from here, um, you go to another simple variation, which is the chemise. And the chemise dress here has nothing taken out through the abdomen. You've got an entire sack happening around the, um, the core of the body. All you're working with is the side seam to create uh, the chemise dress, which is great because you just have uh, a dart, a side seam. And what's great about this shape too is that it can be belted. Um, so you can always use something else to get your, uh, your shape through the midsection um, by creating uh, this, uh, this cut. But it's really easy in terms of uh, assembly. So this is a good dress if uh, you wanna make a series of dresses for yourself or something. It'll, it'll go fast in the production. And lastly, you have the shift dress, which is this dress here. The only thing that this dress keeps is the bust dart. It actually adds fullness to the side. And the, the entire dress just uh, hangs essentially off the bust and falls to the floor. Um, this is a good shape, I think, that if you do a sheer over something fitted, I, I like volume through the middle. Um, so that's a, a design option as well. So from the torso sloper, you really want to play with um, volume through the middle of the body. And of course you have the dart. Uh, the dart can be used to make other dresses and I'll go over those as we go forward in the class. But um, yeah, that's basically your torso sloper and how it works in pattern shapes and how you achieve the four basic dresses. So there's the sheath, the semi-fitted sheath, uh, the chemise, and lastly the shift.